Hi and welcome to a new Ocean Leaf video and I'm really excited for this. This is the Windows 365 Starter Series. I thought it may be a good idea to give you some information about how to get started with this great technology. And in case you missed the last video, Morten and I were talking about Windows 365, everything you need to know about a technical introduction. Now, one more resource is, of course, my blog here. I've set up a Windows 365 series, a blog series, where you can find all the information about this. So really starting off with an easy intro, you know, talking about the architecture to design the service itself, up to the technical design itself of your uh, cloud PCs, into an integration management. I'm also covering some use cases as privileged uh, access workstation in this example. And of course, lots more to follow. Now I want to use this series to give an easy starting guide to set up your cloud PCs and um, show you some things around it. So first of all, make sure you meet the prerequisites and this one is found in the technical design, but um, they are really not too much. Of course, you need to have a separate license for uh, Windows 365. It's also recommended that you have like the Intune license and identity license to use or make the best thing out of your whole uh, Microsoft ecosystem. Then, of course, you should have some fundamental knowledge about your entry ID and Intune tenant and also have their the right permissions. Um, for Windows 365, you, of course, need someone who can uh, buy you licenses. So billing administrator and an Intune administrator is definitely uh, important to have. And then when it comes to network, um, here it depends on your network design. I don't want to go into deep, deep to that. Um, what you need to know is if you go for the easiest approach, with, with it, which is the Microsoft hosted network, you don't really have uh, huge prerequisites. Um, also make sure you check out the supported regions and um, definitely do not uh, hybrid uh, join. So that's an easy one. Now, first things first, you are going to need uh, to buy the, the license, uh, Windows 365 license. You can do that uh, usually over your vendor if you're a larger org, or of course, go to the admin Microsoft Center, um, go here to billing, uh, purchase services, and then you can find the different Windows 365 licenses, licenses. So important to know here is that there's a enterprise license and also a business license. Now, for our use case, the enterprise license is definitely the way to go because it just gives you all the configuration options and it's really the better way to configure it uh, for an organization. So you can buy that service by the license. It's always one license per user uh, that can be assigned. And also you can find the different specs here. Next up, we are going to Intune port directly, which is found under intune.microsoft.com. And there we are going to create a group, uh, which we are going to the license uh, assigned to. So here, create a group. Let's call it uh, Windows 365 All Users, but you can also use another name. Um, add members to that group. So the, the members that should get a, a Windows 365 Cloud PC, choosing myself here for this example. Add that one as a member. And after it was created, you should find it in a few seconds. Here we go. And there you can assign the license to group. So adding here a Windows 365 license, which is applicable and available in your tenant. And note that the frontline licenses are not shown up here. <laughs> That's important to know. And um, then just tick the box here and all the users which are member of that group will get a license assigned. Now, of course, you could also assign the license directly to the user. That's also possible, but for better control, um, for my opinion, it's easier to go uh, through the group. Then back at Intune portal, we are going to create a provisioning policy. Now, a provisioning policy is a policy that states the creation of your Windows 365 cloud PCs. So if you go to Intune here, Devices and Windows 365, which is a known blade, you will see all the information and configuration options available in your Intune portal. Now, if you first set this up, you maybe also get a banner here to get started. Just accept that and kick the tires. Now you will get an overview, see all of your provisioned cloud PCs or even some with another state uh, currently 
we'll have the provisioning policy, which we're going to create right now, uh, some custom images that you could upload and use as base image um, for your cloud PCs, which I would not ge uh, generally recommend. You can add an Azure network connection, so network connection to your on-premises or uh, local campus, and also adding user settings, which is most of the time just an optional thing, but recommended. So starting off with a provisioning policy, you can create a new policy here, very simple. Give it a name, um, follow a good naming convention, of course. So for now, I'm going to name it uh, W365 Provisioning provisioning policy, um, use that everything empty uh, here for the description is not needed. Um, if you have anything to put in here, you can do that. Now choose a license type. We were going here with the enterprise license and here joint type the easiest way and also recommendation of Microsoft and myself is going enter join only. So there will only be a device object in your enter ID tenant. For the network, easiest way to go here is a Microsoft hosted network. So Microsoft cares all about the, the network and you don't need to have any special licenses or resources or so, but of course uh, your machine will not be integrated to your own network. Now choose a region. It's best to go with the closest of the users. So for me, it's Switzerland. And if there are multiple regions in that uh, geographic location, you could also specify that, otherwise go with automatic. Tick the box down here about using Microsoft Entra single sign-on. That's a convenient way to sign in because when a user wants to connect to his cloud PC, he doesn't need to sign in again when he's connected to it. So Windows sign-in and sign-in to the service itself is all in one. It's all seamless and it's the best user experience. Then next, you can choose a gallery image or use a custom image. Now for gallery image, Microsoft, um, um, uh, creates them. It's pretty simple and cool because they always have one with OS optimization and one with uh, the, the enterprise image, of course, and Microsoft 365 apps. That's also cool because everyone is going to use that productively on your systems. Also your ICC latest version 23H2. Click here on next. Then you can uh, specify the language and region settings of your uh, cloud PC and also apply a cloud PC naming convention, which, which is in fact then the host name. So for example, use um, cloud PC here as recommended. And then I'm going to use a random string here um, with five uh, digits in total. You could enable additional services. Um, currently we are offered with, with uh, Windows Auto Patch, which, which is an automated approach of handling uh, Windows updates of quality and feature updates. Uh, by Microsoft, I although recommend go also with Windows Update for Business Rings. It's easy to go with that because of Windows Auto Patch, you need some additional configuration for the whole tenant. Now then, um, assign it to the group we created before. So for this use case, I'm going to choose my Windows 365 All Users group. Um, go next, and that's essentially it. It's so easy. Create a policy and you're ready to go. Now we should see that provisioning policy uh, in here reflected again. You could also change some settings here and apply that uh, the new configuration to your existing cloud PCs. That's important to know because maybe you want to do a region change or some other settings, you're uh, able to do that with that. So after a few minutes, your provisioning policy should get applied, meaning a cloud PC will be provisioned can see that at the blade of all cloud PCs, and there will be a new machine which has the status of provisioning. Now the provisioning is also done by Microsoft and you can just grab a coffee here. It will usually not take longer than 30 minutes or one hour. So quite a good system here. Also see some more um, information about this. And down below, we see an example of a provisioned a cloud PC. And the good thing about it is you can click on it and all you will get is an Intune object of your cloud PC. Now that's great because it's all in one system. Intune is the endpoint management system for your physical and now also virtual devices. And that's pretty cool. You nearly have the same options above here, but I will show that in another video. Also here, the performance plate is really the only thing and also restore points, which are unique 
to uh, cloud PCs. Now that's already it with provisioning. One additional here is the user settings, which is also recommended to create. So um, if that want a name, usually there is only one or two of them needed. You can specify the settings as enable local admin. <laughs> That's not recommended. Enable users to reset their cloud PC. Yeah, makes definitely sense uh, for some or for the most use cases. And also allow the users to initiate a restore service, creating restore points and so on. You can also choose a frequency depending on what you want. Um, I will go with six hours here. All you need to do is again here, assigning that one to your group that we created. So it gets applied for the same users. That's already it with the base configuration and the provision of your cloud PC. Let's get on with the series in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.